What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at it again for another co-part walk around over here at 2829 Southeast 15th Street here in Oklahoma City. We're gonna jump right into this with number one on my list. One of the most dangerous cars on the planet, a Ford Mustang GT, better known as crowd killers. That's right. You heard it here first, guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you know, I've had a couple of the Mustang GTs, man. So uh, the, These newer generations, I've had two of them. One was a performance pack, and the other was just a regular uh, GT. I loved them. Fun cars, they never killed anybody. Never never went into any crowds either. You know, it's just one of those, one of those ongoing Ford jokes. This one's got 45,000 miles. Uh-oh. What's up with uh, 1320 there? That's right. What's up, Garrett? The Shop Inc., Molly Motorsports, Crower, Cletus, yeah, uh-huh. This Organized Grime, Steve Morris Engine, okay, you get the point, you get the point. This guy likes his stickers, man. This guy likes his stickers a lot. I wonder if we got a, like an Instagram to this person. Let's see. The Drive Shaft Shop, BMR Suspensions. Nope, no Instagram. You think that there would have been an Instagram on this thing to tell you who it belonged to. What I find real interesting is these skinny tires up front though. I find that very interesting. Almost like, almost like this car may have been, you know, down at the drag strip or something. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think it's just got a bunch of stickers on it or do you think somebody actually spent some money on it? I can tell you right now, from looking under here, I'm gonna say somebody legit spent some money on it. Okay, <laughs> this isn't one of those cars covered in stickers for no reason. <laughs> somebody, somebody really put some money into this one. I see the long tube headers on it already. It's listed as a non-runner. Got the performance pack wheel on the back. Of course, it's a manual transmission. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, we got a uh, race seats with the harness. Yep. Uh, stuff that back in there. Uh, let's get the. Come on now, get out of there and let me stuff the the seat back in here. There we go. Get that out of the way. The rear seat's been removed. The passenger seat's been removed. <laughs> they were serious, man. <laughs> they were serious. I'm telling you, they were not messing around on this car. Yeah, unfortunately, she met an early demise, man. This car. Uh, should have lived a lot longer than it did. Let's see if we can. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, there we go. There we go. She didn't want to open, but there she is. Dang, that is a heavy hood. Wow. Hey, you want to save some weight? Dump this hood and throw a carbon fiber on there. Wow, look at that massive JLT cold air intake. That thing is humongous. My goodness. You know, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. It, it really doesn't. It doesn't look that bad. I know the radiator fell out of it. You know, that's unfortunate, but everything actually looks pretty damn good under here. Not bad at all. Even the wheels are turned the right direction. You know, this one's turned to the right, and this one's turned to the right. Now, there's a little bit of bad news in the back. I'm gonna have some suspension damage back here. This one looks okay. Back quarter looks fine. Are you serious? There's a tow hitch on this? There's a tow hitch on the back of this. Okay. Well, I mean, whatever. You got AWE exhaust tips. I don't see any quarter damage. There's a little bit of damage. Yeah, there is right there. A little bit of damage. That's not too bad, but this wheel right here is all, all out of whack. Yeah. It's, this is a non-runner, too. I find that hard to believe, so you know what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and just throw this on here. We're not going to run it for any length of time because, uh, oops, because it has a, it has no, no radiator, no cooling system. This has already been removed, so we'll just kind of slide it out of the way here. We'll throw a ground right here, right there. We'll throw a hot onto the hot side of the battery and you know we'll see if she wants to do anything with us today i'm interested come on get on there old girl stay there we go 
all right well make sure nothing's rubbing on the crank i don't want anything hitting the crankshaft the pulleys or anything i don't want nothing uh okay looks like everything under there is good all right she should be good to try to fire up we'll see if she runs I'm not gonna lie i'd be very interested in this one i would oh man look at this carbon fiber steering wheel that is nice all right you ready oh she's not happy with the ground i guess okay let's go figure this out it's either going to be the ground or it's going to be the positive and i'm going to bet i'm going to bet that she's not happy with that ground so let's try this one and let's work on that positive side just a little bit more just to there we go uh, we got voltage sometimes these things can be finicky guys Sometimes you got to try them a couple times before you finally get them to, to fire up for you. All right, brake clutch. Oh. Ah. It runs. It runs. <laughs> Oh, I knew you did, girl. I knew you'd run. Wow. Okay, I shut it off for a reason. I wanna get out and double check under the hood, make sure nothing is spewing out. I wanna make sure we don't have oil gushing out or anything, yeah, see right here? see right here now it's a manual transmission so that is not going to be uh, transmission fluid guys yeah I'm going to bet what do you think an oil cooler you think that's oil uh, no that's actually golly what is this antifreeze that's antifreeze that's awful thick that's some thick antifreeze guys look at that no that's oil that's oil very thin oil but i'm guessing these use what 020 something like that 020 that's why i went ahead and shut it off i didn't want to run it long because you couldn't see what was going on under here obviously no worries there was nothing coming on the engines uh, on the dashboard that said oil pressure or anything like that so we didn't hurt her she wasn't knocking or anything like that but that's why i'm saying guys it really really does not hurt to come out here take a look at these cars for yourself and verify whether they run or not because this one was listed as a non-runner i mean not was this one is listed as a non-runner it runs fine it runs fine definitely gonna need some suspension work front and rear for sure uh gonna need a hood the frame rails look straight though guys this is one that i think could be put back together i really do I, I think it wouldn't take much to put this one back together next on my list we got a 2012 chrysler town and country <laughs> this poor this poor thing is leaving parts all down the road look at this like she she's just she's just dropping pieces all the way down the yard man good night uh yeah this is pretty bad obviously we're not we're not going to try to start this one guys so we are going to look it over real quick just because i find fire cars interesting i do and, and i'm sure some of you probably do as well oh wow all right that's a real nice yukon right there that's a real nice i get sidetracked real easily <sighs> okay that's i really 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 like that but that's not on my list, so it may not even be up for sale. So we, we, we better not mess with it. Let's go back. Let's go back to the town and country because this is what everybody really wants to see, right? No, not really. Not really. Um, oh, what is this? Here, here's your little Ford. Looks like someone just got done rebuilding it, man. Look at that. They even almost color matched it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, nope. 
Not even close. Seven, 2017 Ford Focus. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, stow and go seating. Oh, man. Oh, that smell. I love the smell of fire. Wow, look at that. Wow. Okay. But here's where the real damage is. Oh, man. Wow. What happened other than it caught on fire? I mean, look, look at this. Look at the wires and everything. Like, good Lord, what happened to this thing? I mean, you can look at the dashboard over here. Let me see if I can get you over there. And I think you can see that the fire started, you know, somewhere right around there. It just makes me wonder, like, what uh, what would have caused that? What would have caused it to, to have ignited under the dashboard? Or did it ignite under the hood and somehow start working its way into the cab? I mean, obviously, the engine got burned to a crisp, and so did the cab. Uh, this is, uh, that's some sharp metal right there, guys. Ooh. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to carefully try to drop you guys down in here. There's where the battery used to be right there. Okay, there's the plates. And, uh, yeah, look at this, wow. Huh. All right, let me carefully pull you guys back out. I don't know. I don't know if the fire started under the hood or if it started in the dashboard. Either way, I really do find fire cars very interesting. I really do. And, uh, well. That's a hell of a fire car right there. All right, enough of that. Let's move on to the next one. Next, we got a 2014 Ford Taurus SHO. Yep, twin turbo eco beast. Took a little damage to the front, and since we're already here, we'll go ahead and just jump into what I can see here. You know, looking at the frame rail, if that's what you want to call it anyway, it, it looks all right. It's not even crumpled here or here or anything. I think the frame rail survived. It, it hell it even looks like crash bar survived just fine. Everything down here looks good as well. I mean, honestly, the fender apron is still intact. It, everything looks really good. This looks like a very simple repair, but sometimes looks can be deceiving. So keep that in mind. You know, gonna need a fender. The fender is damaged. It's bent in pretty good here, and it's really bent up up here. The hood is also bent in, so I would replace the hood. I would replace the fender, obviously the whole front end, the bumper, the headlight assembly, the grill. And I don't think there's any damage on this side at all. No, this side looks good. So basically you just need everything for the driver's side front end. She's got a really nice set of Falcon tires. It looks really nice. I mean, this really does. I've always been a fan of the show, guys. I always, I always have from the very beginning. In fact, if you look at the very first video ever on my channel, the very first video on my channel is a Ford Taurus SHO that I was filming with a system. I had subs and an amp. Some little kid come walking up to me and started touching on my car. I told him to get away from my car, and he said, that's not your car. I was like, it is my car, man. It is my car. So I've always, I mean, the very first video on my channel is a, uh, I don't know, like a 94 with that Yamaha V6. Yeah, go check it out. It's, uh, I think the title is for my, or I don't remember what the title is, Ford Taurus SHO bumping and thumping or something like that. I was much, much younger back then, guys. So things were, uh, <laughs> I was in a little bit different spot in life back in those days. Um, smells like a smoker. For sure, let's fire it up. All right, it runs absolutely great. What are the miles on it? 120, 120,000 on the clock. Climate, can we turn down the fan a little bit? I don't even know where, there we go. Let's turn down that fan just to, oh, we got air conditioned seats too. That, yeah. Let's turn on the air conditioned seats. Let's turn the temperature way down. Hell, I don't even know. Okay, I guess it's all the way on cool. So we'll make sure the uh, air conditioning works. Of course, we gotta pop the, pop the hood. Very comfortable seats. Important window. 
Why, yes, it does express up and down, of course. This is really nice. This is really nice. I love this gauge layout as well. Air conditioning is ice cold. You do know I'm throwing a bit on this one, right? <laughs> I hope you do. I hope you know that I'm throwing a bit on this one. Absolutely. Lots of space, man. I love it. I love it. Pop the trunk, pop the hood. Like I said earlier, very nice tires, man. Seriously, very nice tires. Falcons all the way around. It's a big car. It is a big car. Oh, look. It comes with some parts, man. You got the, uh, well, so you've got the smashed ballast and everything. Yeah, those those aren't going to do you much good. But, I mean, it comes with them, you know. Let's see what under the hood looks like. You know, if you can get the fender and the bumper matched from a junkyard, well, you save yourself a ton of money, man. Save yourself a ton of money. Where is the hood release? Is it over here somewhere? All right, why we gotta make things so complicated, guys? There it is. It's kind of, kind of hiding there in the middle. There she is. Oh, that battery looks rough. That looks real rough. Look at this battery. Yeah, I think it's time for a new battery, guys. What do you think? Man, it's too bad you couldn't fix that. That damage is so minimal. I mean, it could probably be fixed. I don't know if it'd be worth it though. Everything up here looks to be in pretty good shape. Everything is solid. I don't see anything bent up along here. All of this looks like it's right almost where it needs to be. You can see this got moved a little bit, but honestly, not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's full of coolant, AC work, so you don't have to worry about replacing the radiator, condenser, any of that stuff. Yeah, guys, this thing's a beast. This thing is a beast. I gotta throw a bit on it. I have to. I have wanted one of these forever. And I asked Jessica what she thinks of it. She's like, nah. It's like, you gotta be kidding. She doesn't like this car. Is it an old person's car? Maybe that's what it is. Remember, there's a 10 year gap between Jessica and I. You know, I'm 41, I'm almost 42. And maybe the cars that I find attractive are not, you know, not exactly the cars someone 10 years younger than me is going to find attractive. Put in gear one more time. Oh, yeah, man. She feels good. She feels right. She does. Very responsive. We do have an airbag light. Other than that, that's it. Turn that radio off. That's getting annoying. Oh, those air-conditioned seats, too. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Yeah, guys, I'm going to throw a bit on this one. All right, so here it is. 2014 Taurus SHO, 120,000 miles, minimal damage, pure sale, $475. Oh, you're, you got to be kidding me, man. Now, I don't expect that I'm going to get this for this price. But, I mean, I'm going to have to throw a bit on it, guys. I got to. And we're winning it for $825. Next on my list, just a quick one. Carnage, man. Carnage. We got to show some carnage from time to time. Yep. Yep. This this used to be a Ford. I, I don't know what you would call it now other than scrap metal. Junk, maybe. Yeah, she's uh, she's done, guys. Stick a fork in it. This one is, this one is cooked. Goodness. The way these things just melt down now, you know, like I'm still not used to seeing it. I'm really not. Granted, they've been making these out of aluminum for quite a while now. I, I really should be used to seeing stuff like this. It just, uh, I guess it just never gets old. You know, <laughs> walking up on something like this and being like, where did the body go? Like, now, since the body's gone, it gives you an idea what you could use one of these for i think this thing would be pretty damn awesome if you just chopped it all down like this i mean obviously you still want like a windshield or something but it's kind of like a jeep truck oh wait they already make those 
That's called a gladiator, right? I think it's called a gladiator. Well, never mind. This is a little bigger though. I mean, tell me this doesn't look cool. Kind of like a safari rig or something, right? You know, just wide open to the elements. You got your seats and then right behind you got your bed, man. You know, throw all your stuff. I think it's cool looking like this. I, I do. But anyway, I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of carnage before we move on to the next one. I noticed this Lexus sitting over here, man. I just had to see how bad is this front end. Uh, mm. You know, yeah, she's pretty rough. Yeah, she's pretty rough. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Okay, well, anyway, let's move on to the next one, guys. Next, we got a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe. Practically new. Okay, it's not. But, I mean, it kind of is, right? It's a 2020. It's only got 32,000 miles on the odometer. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and say it's still practically new. It is. I mean, I know it's slightly used, but whatever. Why is this one here, guys? It may it may actually tell you on the windshield. I'm not for sure. She looks she looks really good. She looks really good. Okay. I mean, fully matched set of tires with good tread on them body looks good how does the interior look i wonder i don't think it tells you it doesn't tell you what it's here for i'll tell you in a minute but first we're gonna look oh wow this is clean Ooh. oh wow Ooh. Mm. <coughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah uh i know what that's i know what that's for i, <laughs> I know I know what that smell is. Yeah. Uh, it, well, I guess there's probably no point in me telling you now. You've probably already figured it out. Good Lord. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. This one is pretty bad. I'm going to open some doors here, man, just to, you know, kind of kind of help me out a little bit here. Whew. Let's see how things look under here. Do we see any, uh, any water or anything? Nope, doesn't look like any water intruded into the back here. Uh, man. <sighs> here, let me open this door, too. This is, this is so bad. This reminds me of that damn Toyota Corolla from the other day. Uh, that Corolla was... I don't see any water intrusion into here. I don't see any water lines. I don't, I don't see... I don't see anything. This is nice. Got that Infinity stereo system. Beautiful, nice, soft leather. Got the panoramic roof right there as well. Um, I don't see any water intrusion up here either. Let's we'll see if we got any mold or anything growing under here. No? Huh. This is, this is interesting. I kind of like it. I kind of like this one a lot. Okay, it's breathable in here now. You get both sets of keys. And will it fire up? Yeah, she fired right up. So it fired right up. It runs great. There's no warning lights on other than low fuel. Look at that panoramic roof there, guys. Tell me that is not awesome. Yeah, yeah, I, re I really, I really dig that roof. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, man, this is, this is really nice, guys. Let's put it in gear. Yes, it goes forwards. Yes, it goes backwards. You got bird's eye view and everything, man. I didn't know Hyundai was doing this. <laughs> Ventilated seats too? Oh, wow. Well, I can tell you this, it smelled really, really bad. Really bad, Un unbreathable. Now that I've had the doors and everything open, you can definitely breathe in it. And uh, I think if you ozoned it, it would make a hell of a difference see if we see anything under here I don't I don't 
I don't understand what happened to this one, but in case you haven't figured it out yet, this is a flood. Okay, this is a flood, and I'm not sure how that ended up being the case. I, I don't I don't understand how this was a flood. That's got a mean looking front end too. She's a good looking vehicle, guys. Uh, seriously, runs great, looks very nice. It appears all the electronics work. Um, even the air conditioning was ice cold in it. I would not be afraid to buy this. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't be afraid to buy this and uh, get it professionally clean. I mean, you probably want to remove the carpets and everything too and just clean all of that ozone, the living crap out of it. Uh, I think this is a good one. I think this is a steal of a deal, guys. All right, moving on. Next, we got a polka dotted 2019 GMC Terrain. Now, this is an all new paint scheme that they came out with for 2019, guys. And they only did this in 2019. You could get an optional color of black with white polka dots all over it. This makes this probably a one of one, guys. This is super rare and super unique. Look at those polka dots. I am kidding, obviously. For the, There may be somebody out there that doesn't get it. I'm joking. This is hail damage, guys. You know, I love showing you hail damage. We kind of had so much of it for a while that I just got bored with it. But now that the hail damage is kind of cleared out, I think it's, you know, it's okay to show this to you. I love when they come from the body shop like this. Because... Honestly, probably about 50% of these dings, you probably wouldn't even see if it wasn't for these circles all over it. But at least before you bid on it, man, even if you're not going to come out here and look at it yourself in person, you can see this one. You can clearly see this one. I mean, I, you want to talk about thorough. These guys did a thorough job. Uh... Uh, yeah, very impressive. Very impressive. Um, is this one that I would consider putting back together and driving? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you this. There is some damage back here that is not from hail. Okay. Uh, this right here, these massive dents. Somebody backed into something here. Uh, that's definitely not hail. This massive crunch, that's not going to be hail either. Uh, the rest of it definitely looks like hail, though. Yeah, it, it's got great tires. It's an SLT. I don't even know for sure what that means. Like, what is SLT as far as the models? I know what LTZ is, but I don't know what SLT is. Yeah, it's got a busted quarter window back there. Yeah, it shouldn't be any big deal to get replaced. It smells all right. A, a lot of hail damage, though. A lot of hail damage. Oh, this one's got power. Hey, how nice. How nice, something actually has power. Fired right up. Oh man. Well, listen to her. He purrs like a kitten. Change oil, washer fluid low. Is that, a, that's all we got? That's all we got? All right. Up. Oh. Hood open. Uh-oh. Important window. I'm sure. 40,000, 50,000 miles on it. Yeah, I'm sure that, yeah. All right. Ugh. Seems like maybe there's like a piece of plastic that would be missing right here, right? I don't know. I could be wrong, but... Yep, there's that little Ecotech, man. Boy, they throw this thing in. It's in everything. It's in absolutely everything. Little turbocharger right there. Easy to get to. Looks like it's easy to replace. Yeah, I'd drive this, guys. I would. I'd clean this up and drive this. No, no issue at all. No issue at all. I think it's a good-looking SUV. I really do. Low miles. Clean all that crap off of it. And, uh, yeah, you're still going to see a lot of hail damage. But, honestly, guys... This is one I could I could live with this. I like this. Air conditioning is nice and cold. I don't like the shifter. Like this is a little weird, right? Okay, I don't I don't care for that. 
Oh, we got the e-brake on. Where is the e-brake? Hell, I don't know. Why do you have to change everything, man? You got heated seats, heated seats, snow, regular roads. Not air-conditioned seats, though. We don't have AC. That sucks. That sucks. The e-brake is on, but I don't know. I don't know where the e-brake. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, so now it should move, right? Yeah. Yep. She moves forwards, backwards, park. Yeah, guys, I like this one. I really do. Why is the? There we go. I like this one. I really like this. This is decent. This is decent. Yeah, I know. The key is in it. Shut the hood. So you stop complaining. This one's all right, guys. This is one I would definitely put back on the road. Moving on. Last on my list, the 2005 Honda Pilot. Probably not going to bid on this one. I don't know. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. This is a uh, insurance exchange. Okay. I don't know what it's here for. I'm looking to see if we got any. Ah, maybe this will explain it. Did you take a little hit in the back here? Um, I don't see any damage other than it's missing the bumper. I don't see any damage back here at all. The muffler, the crash bar, the hatch, everything is lined up nicely. Okay. Oh, wow. What is this? Somebody was stealing. That's what this looks like, doesn't it? Somebody was stealing wire. There's an air compressor that's melted. Like somebody was throwing all of this into the fire to try to clean up that scrap metal. There's somebody's jeans over there. More jeans. I'd almost bet this is somebody's uh, theft vehicle. This was probably stolen. Look, there's a big old hitch. I guarantee you somebody stole it. Look how fresh the bolt, uh, you can see where the bolts were. Look how fresh those are. Yeah. Yep. And probably, there's probably a lot of stolen stuff sitting in the back of this right now. I Let me tell you, man, you steal my damn trailer hitch. <laughs> Boy, don't let me catch you. Don't let me catch you. Oh, we got batteries. There's batteries in here too. Corroded batteries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we know what was going on here. Hey, let me tell you something. All right, meth is a bad drug, okay? I'm just saying. Yeah, I wonder if this whole vehicle had been stolen. It's got a nice set of Goodyears on the back, or I should say pair of Goodyears on the back. Looks like, what do we got on for you? It's got a full set. Very nice tires, guys. Very nice tires. Unfortunately, it looks like this thing was used to do some dirty deeds. Definitely used to do some dirty. Oh, look. Look, somebody's battery back here, too. A marine battery. Got some water bottles. You know, you get real thirsty stealing people's stuff all day. Seriously, it's, it's a hard job, guys. It is a hard job, and you get real thirsty when you spend your days and nights jacking people for the stuff they worked real hard for. I got no sympathy for crooks, man. None. None. Let's see if we can pop this hood. 3.5, typical Honda. You know it's going to be dead as a doornail. I mean, of all the things they were stealing, couldn't they have stole themselves a good battery? Right? It's like, I mean, if you're out stealing, you know, stealing stuff for scrap, couldn't you have at least got yourself a battery? I'm just saying. Oh, hold on. That battery may still work. Ah, okay. I mean, I got to eat my own words there. I was 100% wrong. 100% wrong. <sighs> Ooh. It's rough, guys. This is rough. 136,000 miles. This thing has had a hard life. This thing has had a hard life. 136,000 miles on the clock. Poor girl. I wasn't going to bid on this. How do I... Where's... Let me... Hold on. Where's the daggum air conditioning here? I want to turn that down. The AC is ice cold. We got brakes. Yep, she goes forwards. She goes backwards. She does. She goes both directions. 
Yeah, I mean, this is actually pretty nice, guys. Yeah. I, I really had no interest in this at first, but now I do. Now I do. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull up the Copart website. Let's throw a little bid on her. All right, well, here she is. $150 current bid, pure sale. Recovered theft. I knew it. I knew it. Recovered theft. Now, I don't want this all that bad, guys, but... Yeah, we'll see what happens at 550. Winning it at 325. I mean, for three and a quarter, hell, the tires are probably worth more than that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Guys, that's it. We're done. It's the end of the video. See you next time.